boys, it's starting. It's freaking starting, baby. Hold on. Uh, I'm waiting on uh, Jordan Ewell and John Iderola to... Uh, I changed the game already? Okay, good. Uh, Jordan Ewell and John Iderola to join me, and they are uh, dedicated... And very, very talented Magic the Gathering players. They're pro players. Chat. I got to run the top of the hour, every hour, six second ad break uh, ad right now. First and foremost. Okay, I'm going to do the Sorting Colleges, MTG Strixhaven. Hashtag ad. Because that's the set that we are promoting today. Okay. Here it is. Um, MTG. <clears throat> do not fuck with uh, Jordan and them uh, while... Do not fuck with me or Jordan while this starts. Okay. Hi there. Jimmy here to walk you through your first game of Magic the Gathering. The first thing you're going to need is a deck. If you don't have one, see if your local game store has a welcome deck. Some stores offer them for free to new players. They come with two 30 card decks so you and a friend can learn to play. You can also pick up a Planeswalker deck, a 60 card deck built around one of the many iconic characters in Magic. You win a game of Magic by reducing your opponent's life oh, total from 20 I'm running a hash to zero. Uh, top of the That's hour usually done by attacking them with your creatures and using spells to make sure their creatures can't attack you. To start a game, shuffle your decks and randomly decide who goes first. Usually people roll dice. Draw a hand of seven cards and whoever won the dice roll goes first. In a one-on-one -on -one match, the player who goes first doesn't get to draw an additional card, but every other turn starts with the player drawing a card. The first thing you'll need to play is a land. You get to play one land every turn. Lands represent the mana you use to cast spells. You see- Land represent the mana you use to cast spells? Wait. So land means like this is my land, right? If I get island, does that mean I have an island land? Every spell you cast has a casting cost, which tells you the number and color of mana needed to cast them. This spell requires one white mana and two of any color. While this spell needs two green mana and four mana of any color. This line tells you what kind of spell you're casting. Some spells stay on the battlefield, like creatures, artifacts, enchantments, planeswalkers, and equipment, while some spells, like instants and sorceries, have an effect and then go to your graveyard. To cast any of these spells, you use your lands for mana. To use your lands, you turn them sideways, or tap them. Tapping is very important because it shows that the card has been used for the turn. At the beginning of your next turn, before you draw a card, you'll untap all of your tapped cards. On your turn, you can cast spells before and after combat. These two main casting phases of your turn are when you get to play a land that adds mana, summon creatures to fight for you, or use other kinds of spells. Now one type of spell, called an instant, can be cast at any time, such as during combat or even during your opponent's turn. So think of your turn this way. Your turn starts and you get to untap your cards and draw a new card for the turn. You can then play anything you have the mana to play. Then you can attack your opponent with any creatures you have. Then you can play any more spells you have the mana to play. Your turn ends and your opponent's turn begins. There's no difference between the main casting phases that happen before and after. Okay, I'm getting a little confused uh, right now. <laughs> what? People be like, pronouns are confusing and then can describe this? I don't know how if uh, Magic the Gathering has a like, culture like that. Okay, I think maybe playing it is going to be easier for combat. me to figure out. You can even wait to play your land until after combat if you prefer. Now let's talk about what happens during combat. Because the goal of Magic the Gathering is to reduce your opponent's life total to zero, creatures you control will only attack your opponent. Normally, creatures will never attack another creature, although there are some advanced spells that allow this to happen. In combat, you declare any creatures you want to attack your opponent by tapping those creatures. Remember though, a tapped creature can't block when your opponent attacks you. Also, creatures can't attack the turn they're played because newly cast creatures suffer from summoning sickness. After you decide which creatures are going to attack, your opponent then gets to choose which creatures they block with and who blocks who. Then damage happens all at once. This is a creature's power. 
Creatures deal damage equal to their power. Play the tutorial. Start wa stop watching. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna play the tutorial instead. Hold on while I wait. While I wait. Oh, John, I got John's uh John's Discord as well. Hold on, let me just What the fuck? Hold on, I'm gonna add him right now. Hold on. During combat. Wall displays. This is a creature's toughness. If a creature takes as much damage as its toughness, it dies. If a creature isn't blocked, that damage goes to the player. All creatures that were damaged but not killed heal back to full toughness at the end of each player's turn. All right, let's look at an example. This is also a great opportunity to show you how instants work. Say I'm attacking with a Rune Claw Bear, and my opponent chooses to block with a Summit Prowler. Normally, my creature would die, but I have Ornamental Courage in my hand, which is an instant. At any point during the combat phase, I can play this instant. I pay the casting cost and cast Ornamental Courage on my Rune Claw Bear once my opponent has chosen their blocker. Now my creature has three power and five toughness. It should be enough to turn the tides. But then my opponent plays High Spire Infusion on their Summit Prowler, another instant in response. When's the part that they teach you to go on your phone to find an obscure rule proving you didn't lose? Your opponent can respond with their own instance if they have the mana to play. Okay, people are saying that this video is too complicated for a new player. Uh, and I happen to agree with this take. Okay, hold on. Let me turn off my camera here to see if I can turn it back on over here. Nope, I can't. What's good, John? Hold on a moment real quick. How's it going, Hassan? What's happening? Uh, let me see if I can change my, my camera real quick from this one to... Is it working? Can you guys see me? No. No. Okay. Well, that's not going to work then. Okay. We'll just use this camera there instead. There we go. All right. Um... I'm going to put you guys on screen real quick. One second. Let's uh, let's do a screen capture really quick. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. You guys are live now. They can hear you, by the way. They just can't see you, but they can hear you. Uh, burr, 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 burr. How's it going, everyone? All right. Let's see if this works. Discord. Okay. Almost there. You know, live production stuff is never easy. You know, you, you guys already know this. You're experienced uh, producers. For those of you who don't know, ladies and gentlemen, here we have John Idarola of the Young Turks and also Jordan Yule of... Jordan, are you... I mean, you're technically of the Young Turks as well, right? Yeah. Got a show on Twitch. Deep Dive. Yes, it Jordan goes after show. I know they can see you behind me going forward. Okay, so don't don't come behind <laughs> me. All right. <laughs> does she want? Does she want to play? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Okay, I'm trying to figure out like the perfect place to put this camera right now, but we're just gonna roll with it this way. All right, we're gonna put you on the left screen. All right. Okay. What you want to put it behind me? No, no, no. You can put it right behind. Put it right behind. Okay, she's... I love that painting, by the way. Yeah, it's not. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. There That's it is. It's perfect. Yeah, just like a little bit further. Okay, <laughs> there you go. This is perfect. Now you guys can walk over there and uh, no one... No, 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 it's fine. You it's fine. You should have that... had that up before the Sonic thing, just in case. Well, it's too late. They already saw it. So, Oh, you were watching. Oh, God. That's so embarrassing. Okay, so that's what I... So this is what I do. Since I left the Young Turks, this is what I do, John. I, I watch uh, Top 10 Sexiest Babes, uh, females, on on um, Sonic the Hedgehog. So, you know, that's, that's not all you do, Hassan. Pretty much and all I you do. Were, you were watching stuff like that while you were with us anyway. This is also <laughs> true. Yes. Um, exposed. Okay. Hashtag exposed. So, all right. You know what? I'm just going to cover the chat for this uh, portion here. All right. So... Let's get started, boys. You're going to walk me through this journey, right? Uh, uh, Jordan, you sent me something, but you should send it on uh, on Twitter DMs instead because I'm no longer going to be looking at the DMs on Discord um, because, sure. 
it'll yeah. leak our uh, secret DMs to one another. Like uh, your uh, your undying love for Marjorie Taylor Greene and the fact that you thought we were actually going to be doing a Marjorie Taylor Greene dedication stream <laughs> instead of Magic the Gathering. Yeah. And uh, Jordan was practicing his uh, pull-ups, actually. Yeah, he's he, he, yeah. He's like legitimately upset now. It's fine. It's whatever. And I'm we're gonna we're it. gonna work over it. Um, but uh, sh I should just start with the tutorial, right? I didn't want to spoil myself. Mm -hmm. I did not want to spoil myself at all. Hold on, I'm going to go to the regular cam for a second real quick to hide my screen. Um, two things we're going to do. They, they wanted me to ch uh, find out which college I belong to. Should I do that before the tutorial, guys? Should I do the... the sure. Find out which college sure. you belong to before the tutorial, or should I do that after? I'd say do it before. I haven't yeah. done this yet. I haven't either. Okay, well, why don't you guys find out which college you belong to as well? Let's do it. Before you begin your Strixhaven right. courses, let's find out which colleges you'll be studying alongside. Will it be Dark and Mysterious Witherbloom, the Creative Flame Prismare, the Confident and Charismatic Silverquill, or the Adventure-Driven Lawhold? Okay. Uh, I don't know what any of these things mean, so you guys got to tell me. These are all new. These are part of the so new set. Ahead, yeah, go. every one of these sets has like a different flavor to it. Like the last one was sort of like Norse inspired, sort of like a spin on Vikings. This one is about like a magical college, basically, like a more grown up sort of quasi Harry Potter thing. And each of the different schools has a different philosophy. So they're going to try to break you down and really cut to the core of your psychology here. OK. All right. So what are the uh, what do you know what they are? Like, it says, uh, choose your mascot, yeah, elementals, name. pests, fractals, inklings, and spirits. What am I going with here? Well, you, you got to follow your is, heart. This, yeah, yeah, exactly. This is like a sorting hat. Okay, but I don't know, like, what elementals or pests or fractals or inklings or spirits means. You know what I mean? I need, like, uh, basic... An elemental is, like, uh, you know, a bit of animated fire or water or wind. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go pests with elemental. Republican but... congressman. Okay. Um, good one. Got him. But, uh, I'm gonna go with elemental. I'm- I'm going elemental. Fuck it! I'm going elemental, boys. Okay. Pests seem so lame. Like, who would choose that? Pests? Yeah, I mean, seriously. Who's like, I'm gonna be a pest? <laughs> For yearbook, you've been voted most likely to become the next discoverer of a lost dimension. In... <laughs> Enlightenment Council leader of, to dignitaries, idealistic planes leader, award-winning elemental artist, sage of thanatology. Thanatology? How do you say that? I think thanatology. The study of death and the practices associated with it. Okay. Huh. Enlightenment Council leader to dignitaries. Okay, let's do that. What's idealistic planes leader? It's, I, I'm going uh, between. I a... think you could you could be that one. Okay, what is idealistic planes? <laughs> Guys, a plane just, is uh, like um, our universe. Basically, is a plane. Yeah. Like imagine if there are multiple ones and each one's okay. different. Okay. Chose the idealistic planes leader. A spider crawls up your arm. What do you do? Scream! Yes, you're surprised, but also you haven't had your daily scream yet. Swiftly gather up the specimen <laughs> in a test tube, hoping you'll find beneficial properties in its biology. The spider looks like an enhan enhan enchanted breed. You I can't read. Oh, my God. You read. You once read about you tense rolling up your sleeve to let it bite you. Brush the little intruder off your new tunic, straightening the crease your, where you walked. Carefully set the spider on the ground using a magic to construct a tiny glass house so it can be safe. Okay, I'm going to go with I roll up my sleeve and let it bite me because Spider-Man. Oh god, there's a spider in the chat. Okay. <laughs> a group project has been assigned. What are you doing? Threatening, delegating tasks while trying to persuade your teammate to focus. Researching topics that have nothing to do with the project. Calling out sick to work on experiments of questionable intent. Finishing the project by yourself while everyone else is arguing. Testing out a new spell to make gorgeous ice crystals from in your cup of artisanal water. Okay. So, <laughs> is this what I would do, like, IRL? Or is this what I think my character would do which is going to be idealistic and very different than what i would do in real life 
I guess it's like the ideal you. Who do you want to be? Okay, I'm going to go with delegating tasks while trying to persuade your teammates to focus uh, slash threatening. But if it was what I would do in real life, it would be calling out sick to work on experiments of questionable <laughs> intent, most likely. I was going to say. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. People are mad at me. They're saying it's not an RP game. Jesus Christ. This is not RP. It's real life. You asshole. Uh, the people in the chat have never LARPed Magic the Gathering, but we're going to get them into that. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is, guys, this is advanced stuff, okay? Here you thought what we were going to be doing simply was, you know, uh, play Magic the Gathering with your own personalities. Meanwhile, we have, we've elevated. We're doing a role play of Magic the Gathering, okay? <laughs> this is called serious gaming. Uh, okay, all right. All right, I'll, fuck it. I'll do uh, calling out sick to work on experiments of questionable intent. I cave to the chat once again. After a long day of mage lessons, where can you be found? Practicing runes, trying not to get distracted by our own reflection in the ink pot. Okay, that. No reason to read the others. <laughs> a dean calls on you during a long and boring assembly. You jolt awake, having nodded off five minutes into the opening speech. Blow out the candle you just ignited in order to read a message written in invisible ink. Already with the correct answer to an equation you were assigned in your last course. Smile, having mentally prepared a speech ahead of time just in case you were called on. Hopefully the crowd goes wild. Are caught off guard. You were daydreaming about creating a tornado to get out of this assembly. Yeah, caught off guard. Okay, last question. You're taking a long needed vacation. Where do you go? Time to hit the road. You'll be living out of a backpack destination unknown. Absolutely not. A potentially haunted tree fort building built high in the branches of a 500 year old tree equipped with an eco garden and nearby river studying water particles at a semi-submerged in enchanted laboratory behind the sea an all-inclusive ski lodge on top of a glorious mountain range oh that one a stone cottage with flowers and vines cascading down the halls through the trees you can view the active volcano now nope. ski lodge all inclusive okay you did it your college results are coming through shortly but first we want to make sure that you get all the information you need please enter the email address so we can send it to you okay gonna do that right now one second Jordan, did you do, do it too? I did. I have my college. Oh, he did it beforehand, probably. Oh, I just did it now. Liar. I bet he prepared. <laughs> okay. Oh, based on your answers, you'd be a great fit for Silver Quill College Shop Style Shopper Wit. When it comes to knowing it all, we actually do. Or at least that's what... Wait, si okay. Sick. Um... Silver Cool students are known for our snark, charisma, and competitive edge. We believe that leadership is not a title, it's an example. We are the first to sign up for the debate team, and we've been pro- Oh, no. <laughs> I got into the debate, Lord. Oh, no. You're a debate, bro. Even in fantasy. Oh, God, debating. that's terrible. We've been practicing Points our honor leaders, student speeches since we arrived. Be prepared to bring wit, finesse, and confidence, and to be on the best dress list while doing it. Wait, people are saying this is the equivalent of getting into Harvard? <laughs> Over an hour ago, yeah. I called it? Sure. Oh, God. Watch a zombie silver quill. Silver quill, of course. Silver quill. Okay, so my mods <laughs> know me very well. All right, so Amazing. it's time now for me to turn on... Let's see if I can find it. From John, over here. Get? I got silver quill, actually. Oh, nice. I got a uh, right. lore hold. Lore hold. Green, blue? Red, white. Psh, oh, lore okay. hold. Imagine being lore hold, bro. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here, dude. Hassan was answering those questions specifically not to be lore hold, actually. Yeah, I knew. Yeah. I knew oh, exactly yeah, what those... Uh, I knew exactly what the intentions were. Okay, so now I'm going to probably do a tutorial. Is I alt F4 out of the tutorial because I got scared uh, earlier. Are you starting with green? Or is this the... Oh, you're doing white? Just MTG Arena is all I've downloaded so far. And I... Wait, what? Why can't I... Complete the tutorial to unlock five decks. <clears throat> I got scared and I alt f for it. I didn't want to do it without you guys. <laughs> so I'm just going to say play. See what happens. Wake up. Wake up. Whew, looks like you barely survived your last battle. It's a pretty good tutorial, with honestly. some training, you'll become a force to be reckoned with. It really helps Let's get started. Let's we'll see. 
Hassan, have you played any other card games? Have I played any card games? No, I've literally never played a card game. I never even played Gwent. Are impressive warriors. <laughs> Perhaps one of them will help us okay. practice. Well, that'll make our job a little bit tougher. The but forest you belongs it. to the elves. Hmm. She seems like an enthusiastic teacher. You'll need to draw mana from lands to cast your spells. Okay, let's do it. I'm drawing mana. Where Where is the best place to put the camera? You think? Like bottom left, maybe. Um, it might be okay where it is no that's gonna be your that's gonna be your graveyard you're gonna cover your graveyard there is there anything yeah, i need to there, cover for you cheaters not to name. see okay. right now no nothing yet okay i'm gonna play a hand play a land it says so i have planes basic land planes planes basic land planes and a shrine keeper a creature human cleric oh damn isn't lands like uh just basic bitch shit well, it's basically you need you need a certain amount of lands. Okay, each turn I'm to play doing it. Things. How do I? How you do I? One each turn, if you can. Wait, what's going on? How do I? How do I put this sideways? Do I just toss it in there? You can drag yeah, it. It'll out. do it automatically. Yeah. Ah! Good. You don't Slam have that shit. To cast anything yet. Wait, what? So that's all you can do, right? Wait, I'm gonna play another one then. Oh no, I can't. One, one a turn. Oh damn it! Oh, what the hell? Play another land so you can summon a creature. Uh, two lands. So did that automatically summon the creature? No, it wants no, you so to basically, do that now. Yeah, it produces oh, okay. resources you can use to bring out the creature. Okay, all right. Summon a creature by dragging it onto the battlefield. Boom! What's up, Shrine Keeper? Get wrecked. Yeah, I have a human cleric. Wait, what is this sound? Okay. Jordan's never actually managed to turn to Shrine Keeper. This is unprecedented. <laughs> yeah, this is tough. <laughs> he's, got, he's, he's running the meta right now. Mm -hmm. So you, your tap lands are what? Okay. So do I just tap the Shrine Keeper now that's in the middle? So the turn that they come out, they can't actually... Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, um, so now what do I do? Do I beef up my fortify my defenses by adding another shrine keeper? If I have two planes, does that mean I have to have uh I can't uh have enough mana for two shrine keepers? <laughs> play, play another land. And Those then are play actually the reasonable keeper. questions. <laughs> I know, yeah. It's funny, uh, but they are basically reasonable. if you if you have a land, basic strategy is if you have a land at the beginning of your upkeep, uh your first step, play a land if you have it. Later on, you'll get into strategies like holding some back to bluff, like you have more things in your hand, stuff like that. But for right now, just if you have a land, first step is play it and then creatures. Okay, it was time to fucking summon another creature in the battlefield, Jordan. Only one of your creatures is ready to attack. So only one of my creatures is ready to attack because like, oh, because I just pulled the Shrine Keeper this turn, right? Yeah. They come out. Click on each creature you want to attack with. Creatures can't attack their first turn. <laughs> Boom. Uh, click on the button in the bottom right to confirm your attacker. One attacker. Oh, dude, I'm gonna fuck her up, dude. Oh! One tap. Tapped. Creatures tap when they attack. Tap creatures can't block. Oh, shit. She's talking shit, boys. What's going on here? Oh, no. She pulled another forest. And a treetop warden inspect their details all right so she has what two attack and two defense yeah your creatures untap at the beginning of your turn okay so so she can't attack with the treetop order so my goal is what here like to just destroy her right you can see her life underneath her portrait yeah you take that down to zero okay so that's my goal but when she like throws a treetop warden now, when I'm my shrine keeper attacks her treetop warden, like that's basically gonna take away the damage, right? Just like when she attacks me, she has to attack my shrine keeper and not me directly, right? That's again, they a would. reasonable question, but no. So basically you just say who you want to attack and you're just attacking the opponent and then she can decide if she wants to block one of your creatures with one of hers. Um, but yeah, you don't attack her creatures directly. You just attack her. Keep pressing the attack. 
Okay, can I do both of them? Oh, yep. double attack. Oh, she's so wrecked, dude. There's no fucking way she comes back from this, dude. Uh, you've been blocked. Okay, well, the other one's gonna fuck her up, though, right? Yeah, get fucked. Oh, wait, no. One person can block two? No. No. It, unless it has a special ability. Yeah, they can only block one at a time. Okay, so let's try and keep her fucked the other ah, warden up, Admiral. but got fucked up in the process of we traded, yeah, and then my second shrine you. keeper fucked her up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, she doesn't Play know I got the Loxodon line breaker now, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, shit is about to get hectic over here, you know? <laughs> I can't throw it on, right? Or do I have to end the turn? No, you can play it. You've got the oh. mana for it. Boom! Oh, it's done. So that's why it's good to be putting out lands whenever you can. You get some spells that are more expensive and you have to have three yeah. or four or five lands. Oh, what the problem. fuck? What is a rumbling Baylith, dude? Okay, I gotta throw up a land immediately. I'm gonna need more mana. These beasts will destroy your creatures if you attack now. Wait, really? I shouldn't attack the beast? What do I do then? Well, you, so you have, a, you have an advantage on him. So, or her. If this is the only creature they have, you can let that swing on you. Don't block it. Just take the damage. If they have nothing else, then you can have a clean swing and and, and end it. Okay, so I'm just going to say no attacks to end the combat. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could just Honestly. you could just sack your shrine keeper next round or there's probably going to be something else it gives you. But Loxodon Lawnbreaker does not have good defense, right? And the Rumbling Ballast, I, I can see, has four offense. So the, isn't that going to fucking destroy my Loxodon Linebreaker right now and kill it? But it, it can only hit your Linebreaker if you attack with your Linebreaker. Oh, okay. So if I say no attack, it just goes directly to me and kills me. Uh, it takes four points off me. Well, right now it's your turn. But if you don't attack, it'll go to that, that player. They might choose to attack. They might not. So here's the thing. If I throw up my Shrine Keeper here and attack... And I just, you know, cast my Shrine Keeper out as like a, like a Fedayeen, you know what I mean? Like Suicide Bomb himself. So that, that takes away two fucking damage. And then he won't be able, he won't be able to hit me with four. And instead will be able to hit me with, uh, I guess, uh, two goes away. So then just two. So I go down to five. That's, that's a good question. So when you do, da like if your person did two damage to the Rumbling Bailoff, it wouldn't be enough to kill it. But at the end of the turn, the damage would go away and it'd be back to four, four with no damage on it. But also, if he only hits your Shrine Keeper, he's not going to also hit you as well unless he has Trample. So you can just block him and he just, his, he stops his attack. So right now, you. you're, you're, what I would do normally in this situation, I got a two and a three, right? So I, mm -hmm. I should just hit the fucking Baylith because his defenses are only a four. So I just fuck him up, you know what I mean? I murder him. But then that would also, uh, then I would lose both of these cards, right? If you blocked, yeah, you, you would. Oh, because individually it doesn't accumulate. So it's only two and three. So his block, he would block both, right? Well, so remember, it, yeah, each creature can only block one creature, but more than one creature can block the same creature. So if you were to attack with both of those, he would have to either choose to not block at all or to, to block one of your two people. But on his turn, if he attacks you, you could block not at all. You could block with either one of them, or you could block with both. Okay, I'm but gonna no attack both, here. I'm gonna no attack. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll take the damage. Spirit, I think that's probably. But safe. I will show you strength. Yeah, let him swing, and then just swing with both. And you might not even attack. What? What is a feral roar? Target creature gets four plus four until the end of. What? Oh no! <laughs> that was a terrible idea, guys! Oh, I'm dead! No, I'm just, dead! He just, killed me! No, no. You hit him with the Shrine Keeper block, and then he just... He doesn't do any damage to you. You lose your Shrine Keeper, that's it. Keep your bigger creature. <laughs> Wait. Oh! Just owned, dude! Absolutely <laughs> murdered you're not, you're my Shrine dead. Keeper! <laughs> well, yeah, Wait. that's true. You try and keep for suck, though. It doesn't matter. Oh, it's Don't over. It's GG's. Take down a beast while it's... Nope. What's oh, shit. I got a sword. Wait. 
so is this because of the tutorial or am i getting these cards normally like one by one kind of like poker <laughs> it's the tutorial yeah so or on, am i gonna see these cards in the beginning cards. of the game normally so the deck you can make your own deck there's a few rules to how you make it but there's tons and tons of cards in the game and every new set adds new ones you get to customize whatever's in your deck and that'll determine mm -hmm. what you what you draw this is just an exercise. Typically, you would have, like, up to seven cards in your oh, hand. Oh, okay. And then I would tactically move forward from that point on. And I don't know what the fuck her cards are, right? Right. Exactly. But if you yeah. take that card that they just gave you, that kills their baller off. Or their ball off. Okay. So now I'm going to cast the sorcery. Let's go. Destroy target tapped creature. Oh, dude, take vengeance. It's it's a wrap. Oh, dude, you are your rumbling ballast is so done, dude. Okay. You are not making this easy. And then, boom! Straight to the fucking heart, dude. One health. Let's go. <laughs> We've got you cornered. Uh -oh. Cast the spell. Clear a path to finish her. Oh shit! Okay, uh, tap all creatures. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm getting Such all the best generous. cards here. <laughs> yeah. Tap all creatures to your opponent's control with toughness or two. <laughs> Wait, do you just toss it out here? That's yeah, that's that is terrible. wow. Hassan, you're the best player I've ever seen. Yeah, I know. I just fucking destroyed her, dude. All attack, baby. Let's go. Well fought. Outsider. Minus two. Just wreck, dude. Good I'm good. I, I, I'm kind of a pro good. at this game. Yeah. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal, but I just, I just low key just. Ooh, shiny. Okay, I unlock these. You card. When your spiritual guard enters the battlefield, you get. Holy crap, dude! This is a sick ass card. So you guys started at yeah, I think eight, seven life, and six that. life, or something like that. So normally it's twenty twenty. So the general weight. There's other ways that you can win, but they're much more rare. Usually you want to do twenty damage to the other person, I take them down to zero life. Ravnica, that can teach you everything you wait, should I do all of these taxes. tutorials? Oh wait, I have to do all these Especially tutorials because I can't just like jump into the game. Yeah, yeah. and it, it's better in the long run because it shows you the differences sure. in each color mana. So now it looks like they're gonna have you play a red deck. And they like gradually add on a little bit of complexity. Some people There's were saying really I should do red, and others were saying I should do green. Is green the hardest? Both of those. Surprise no, attack. both of those are really good to start with. Oh, what the fuck? Surprise attack. Green is about like really big creatures and making them stronger. Like, it's about getting creatures out and fighting with them and stuff. Wait, what the fuck? What's yes. going on? First blood. So that character has haste, which means it doesn't Don't have worry. summoning These sickness as soon as you play it. This you're able to attack that turn. Okay. That makes no really sense. What the fuck? I want that. <laughs> well, okay. When you make your deck, you can, you can get that. Okay. Yep. I'm tossing planes, right? Oh, wait, what? I can only do one at a time? How is he, like, throwing up planes and also... One at a one drop. That goblin is one. Drop. Okay. Maybe worry just mm -hmm. a little bit. <laughs> Wait, so what? what is this? Spells that cost what kind of rig shit is this, blood. bro? What the Second fuck? Blood. <laughs> All right. You need to mount a defense. Don't worry, his guys are little. They're I mean, I can't even throw up a shrine keeper because, like, I don't have enough planes to, to uh, have the yeah, shrine. Play another plane. And then you can play the shrine keeper. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, I can. Yep. Oh, and thank now, God. If they attack, you'll kill it. Uh, yeah, your shrine keeper can block his goblin and your guy won't even die. I know, but I should just eat it again, right? You'll kill him. You'll be fine. Oh, if I block, I could kill his fucking bitch ass goblins. Wait, but what he has three. Goblins? I can only block one, right? Yeah. Yeah, but the next turn, if you play another shrine keeper, then you can block both and you'll, you'll wipe them out. Okay. Yeah, fuck you, Raging Goblin. I hope you chose to block the right one. Wait, what? Why? <laughs> They're all the same, isn't it? Oh. Oh, I thought you were... Uh, I thought you were... What is this, bro? Okay, well, that's... I gotta still pull a... Creatures healed all damage at the end of each turn. Okay. Ooh, a Sanctuary Cat. What the hell is this? Hell yeah. 
Wait, what? One attack with two blocks. Okay. So now Play. I need more, right? I need two more planes that I need to throw out so I can have another Shrine Keeper, right? No, so you you're... just need one more. Yeah, go ahead, John. Sorry. No, no, you can explain. So your, your lands generate mana each turn. So you might use it one turn to cast a Shrine Keeper. On your next turn, you can get mana from it again. Mm -hmm. It's like a renewable resource. Oh. Okay, I don't fully understand that. Why? Wait, why wouldn't I need two planes? So you have two planes out right now that you've already played on previous turns. That would be enough to bring out your Shrine Keeper. And because you can play a new land each turn, you could put out a third planes, and that would be enough to put out your Sanctuary Cap. Oh, okay, okay. But if I want to bring out another Shrine Keeper, I can't right now. I would have to bring out uh, two more planes to bring out the second Shrine Keeper, right? No, see, so the, the planes that you already have out on the board, each of those can be tapped to produce one white mana. And so if you tap both of them, that's enough for your Shrine Keeper, just from the ones you already have out. Okay, but it wouldn't, but it would not be able to hit, like both of my Shrine Keepers wouldn't be able to hit with just two planes right now. Am I? You, uh, you already played it. You already played the first one. So mm -hmm. then the mana opens back up again. Oh, okay. Yeah, one, once you put it out on the battlefield, you don't have to keep paying for it. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. I thought that no, that actually, mana... That's, again, reasonable. That's a reasonable expectation. Okay. Yeah, it's All not right. tied to them. Or anything. I didn't realize it doesn't cost mana to attack, basically. I thought it was like, your, sure. the, the more you make your mana pool larger, I thought that like you would be able to have more attacks. Oh, gotcha. Not, I mean, just, there are some yeah. cards that might produce that effect, but yeah, not normally. So I wouldn't even need a third card to bring out the Sanctuary Cat because the Sanctuary Cat only costs one mana, right? True, you would but if you wanted to bring out both. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, let's do it. Boom. Boom. Oh. Uh, aren't tough enough to survive being blocked. Uh, I would not attack. Hold them back. Uh, okay, so I'm kind of fucked here. They're going to kill... The Goblin Bruiser is going to kill either my Sanctuary Cat or my Shrine Keeper, right? probably gonna go for the uh, shrine keeper right <clears throat> yeah don't don't attack right now well, wait oh if i don't attack he just hits me you're right you're right okay i remember that yeah i'll eat yeah, remember, it because it, it might not be clear Ta yeah you only attack on your turn and he only attacks in his turn yeah i just no blocks right block the goblins i'd let that bruiser just go through okay i'm gonna block you clean you have a clean hit for all three next round then. for sanctuary clap oh i mean it doesn't matter fine that would kill him yeah yeah fuck it i'm just gonna do that and then that's it right sanctuary cat just chills right yep so that's it block this way and then if i don't click then uh, sanctuary cat doesn't block right all right, I just Nobody ate that shit, dude. Tools, Holy fuck. Me. So what does the cat do? I mean, the cat can block and can attack. Creatures can't attack on the Wait, what, just, what did he just do? What the fuck was that? Mount. <laughs> what did he just do? Goblin A goblin grenade. grenade as an additional... Yo, this, this character is so scummy, okay. dude. What the fuck? As an additional cast to his spell, sacrifice a goblin. Goblin grenades deals five damage to any target. Okay, bro. You see, red is all about like directly like burning you or your creatures, like directly doing damage to them. Okay, I'm gonna go with red. I think I'm gonna play red. It's so scummy. I like Wait, red. what do you guys play with? Some red, uh, some blue. Yeah. Okay, blue I don't Jordan. need to throw out any more planes, right? This is it. I already have all my guys out. I mean, I guess I yeah, could. I'm... Cats get my lights. I guess I could, right? Here, there's nothing else. Like I just because I can play a land, I should, right? And Usually. then I say, not not always, but in this case, probably, yeah. Okay, all attack, baby. Instead of pulling another land, right? Because right now, if I pull another land, or wait, I don't even know if I can. You can only pull one land per turn, right? Unless you have, like, probably some other fucking card that helps you pull more land or something? Yep. Okay, yep. I knew that. There's always a card for that. I, I, I got it. 
there's exceptions to everything. Okay. Yeah. So I just pulled the land and now it's all attack, right? Mm -hmm. Probably, yeah. Let's go. I mean, that's not enough, but... But he can only take an attack one. like that a couple of times before he, before he dies. Oh, here it is. Yeah, give me a new card. That's what I need. What? Oh, come on, bro. This creature has an effect when it enters the battlefield. What is it? <laughs> the, it created those goblin tokens. It's 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 okay uh, though. You're in a good spot because you just got that. How am I in a good unlocked. spot? I'm getting fucking my shit pushed in, dude. This goblin piece of shit is destroying me. I'm losing the tutorial <laughs> in events that were pre-planned. I hate this, dude. <laughs> How will we turn this around, boys? Okay, so I pull out another plane so I can uh, take out the spiritual guardian, right? Or I mean, I like yeah. I don't fully understand the mana thing still because why shouldn't I be able to pull out the uh, spiritual guardian right now? So you have four lands out, and that needs three of any color and two white. So you need that fifth land so you can generate all of it. Okay. Bam! Slap that shit right there. Oh, I regained four life. Oh, it's over. It's GG's. <laughs> okay, so here uh, I am obviously going to attack, right? Because my characters, these two I'm going to attack with. Oh, well, Spiritual Guardian can't attack, but Shrine Keepers, I'm going to attack. One is going to hit the gang leader, and the other is going to hit... Oh, I can't hit him, because there's a... Uh... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. He might block with both tokens, though, on one of the Shrine Keepers, and take that out, too. So I wouldn't... then he's I might losing wait. two things for your one thing. Yeah, but then you only have... Then you would have four left. I would honestly wait... Well, guys, I actually have to run. I got the show coming up in just a few. But, um, Hassan, by the end of the next hour, you're probably going to be hooked for life. I've been playing this thing for, like, 20-plus years. Okay. It's a really good game, actually. And the set looks great that's coming out. All right. Thank you, John. Thank you for coming okay, on. thanks. Where can people find you, you, John? Wait, hold on. Before you go, where can people find you? You shout your uh, uh, channel? Every morning? Sure. Every morning, I host uh, The Damage Report's daily political uh, morning news show at YouTube and Twitch, uh, youtube.com slash The Damage Report. There it is, and, boys. Uh, have a good stream. Jordan, All right, good thank to see you. you too. Nice to see good you, John. See you, John. See you later. Have fun. I'm willing to bet John never thought that uh, there would come a day when uh, he would be coming onto my stream to teach me how to play Magic the Gathering when he first <laughs> met me. Like, there is no shot that he ever knew that this was going to happen. Okay. Uh, yeah, I doubt it. I doubt it. All right, how do I fuck this goblin up now? Now. So, I can, wait, so Shrine Keeper can, like, skip the Goblin Gang Leader and just, like, go directly to the guy? No, I thought, no, it can't. Wait, wait, why is it allowing me to do it? Oh, because they are, it's their first turn. No, it's just a, that's just a visualization. He would still be able to block, and he would, he would likely kill it, either with the Gang Leader or both tokens. I would wait one turn, see what he does, and then swing with Probably so you're just saying, so sometimes it's not good to go on the immediate offensive. And right now what right. to do here is just no yeah. attack. Right. And eat yeah. the damage. Because he doesn't have like a big damage anyway. Like right now he can't really Never fuck me up back. too bad. He won't, he won't actually Never be able to damage the goblin Warren. Because you could block his gang leader with the spiritual guardian. And kill it. And then block the, the tokens with anything else and kill those. And then you have a clean swing for everything to, to end okay so spiritual guardian would block because he i have fucking four that's what i'm using the block with the spiritual guardian and then the shrine keepers would just absolutely destroy the uh the goblins and then sanctuary cat hits the guy oh wait i can't do that never mind no yeah he can't switch he can't attack shit okay He'll just hang out it's just like kind of not doing it's anything. Time to bring the pain. All right, let's see what you got, Goblin. Uh, this is going to hurt. When overpaying rate enters three. Wait, what? Did he hit himself? 
What the fuck? That's <laughs> so weird. Okay. Summon a creature by... Okay, another spiritual guardian is entering the field. Oh, dude. My spir spiritual guardians are OP, bro. Four, four health uh, points every time you enter? Like, okay, you might as well... I mean, it's a wrap. I would swing. Swing with Seven, everything, yeah. dude. Seven. The I'm most... He, he can only block one, and he's probably going to block the spiritual guardian, and then you still hit him for five and win. That's the worst case scenario. Oh, okay. Swing with the cat, the shrine keeper, both shrine keepers and spiritual guardian. Okay, let's do it. That's one, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war, baby. Let's go. Blocks that one. Are you, are you won by even it's more. It's the pokey bits that hurt the most. Fucking ended him, dude. What the fuck? Okay. You're a pro. You're bro, a pro. this goblin was so bitch made. Okay. Hold on, I gotta turn on the AC. It is so hot in here in California, not to flex, but like totally. <laughs> it's freezing here. Okay. Okay, Knight's Pledge and Angelic Reward. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets two plus two plus two. Okay, that's pretty sick. Enchant Creature. Wait, are, is the white deck good? It's okay. I play with Mono White. I don't know what that means. You play with Mono White. So, Mono Colored. I'll just do one. I'll just do the same color. A oh. Mono Red or a Mono Green would be really good for you to start. Um, I play a controlled deck, so it's a little, it's a lot of waiting and just wiping, <laughs> wiping the board. Okay. All right. Enchant creature, enchanted creature gets plus three, plus three and has flying. Wait, what does flying do? A creature while flying can't be blocked except by creatures with flying or reach. Oh mm -hmm. shit. So you can like totally evade. Yep. Okay. That's ridiculous, dude. You're a quick learner, so let's try a more challenging lesson. Follow me to Ixalan. There's a mystic there who spent his life studying the nuances. All right, let's combat. go. I'm gonna fuck this mystic up, dude. Let's go. Wait, so if I kill your decks, are you no longer? It's just for the duration of the game, right? He might look. Like There's no right like permanently that. destroying His your cards. Boundless. Right. Stay patient. Right. And keep an open mind. Imagine if, if there was a card that seek, literally permanently destroyed. I teach you. <laughs> I feel like. Ass. I feel like that could happen. Why is this so loud? I'm like literally lowering the audio as best as I can. Okay. Oh, come on, dude. Freely, unfettered by earthly bonds. Oh, he now is too low. Hold on. Fuck. Okay, he is a flying creature. I'm gonna. It's gonna be hard, dude. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna throw up. That's it, right? From the Sonic video. Yeah, play the cat. That's it. One, one planes, one cat. Oh, but the cat can't block because the fucking Zephyr goes a flying creature, right? Right. But you can still attack if the Zephyr goal is tapped. Wait, I can't throw up two planes cards here. No, only one a turn. Okay, got it. Here's the cat. Let's go, baby. In, enchant creature understand. creature gets one one. Oh come on bro see Okay, so we gave him permanent aura any blockers on the ground luckily it only gets two damage So it's not that big of a deal, right? Yeah, that's it'll be okay your starting health is that like do you have cards to change your starting health? Yeah, that spiritual guardian right. is one. You that... give it a shot. Okay, do I pull that out one playing card and then one enchantment for the cat, right? Yep. Boom, baby, let's go. Good. Oh, my you cat is flying attention. now. <laughs> okay, is it? Yeah, I just enchanted it with the knight's R. Doesn't it give? Oh, never mind. It's not a flying cat. No, I don't. I don't have that card yet. 
It's a fucking beefy boy, though. So do I just attack directly now? Because the fucking flying yeah, creatures can't the, block, uh, right? Flying creatures can, but because it just attacked, it's tapped. So now you're blocked. Or now, now I can't block. Yeah, fuck you, dude. There we go. I can't wait till my cat can fucking fly. What? May block your path, oh, but do not crap. lose sight of your true goal. What is that? Zero and four. Oh my it's god! It's just like a pain in the ass. Yeah. That defense is insane. Is four good? There's defense? a crab that's like zero and sixteen or something like that. It's, it's what? A huge pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, it's like an it's like a late game card. I can't remember what the name is, but it's really really annoying. So, like, right now, what I would need is, like... Zero and 17, I'm being corrected. Sorry. Jesus Christ, dude. Starx, that's it. Wait, can you just, like, roll over me with your insane deck right now, then? Is that how that works? Like, if we played? Oh, probably. Because you only have the starter decks right now. Wait, what um, the hell? I, would... I wouldn't do that. Like, that's not a good way for you to learn. Yeah, so what, would, what do you, what do you mean, dude? I would basic one as well. You should play a plane and then the line breaker, I think. Okay, I'm going to play another plane. I'm going to throw out either the guardian or the line breaker because I have enough now for the guardian. But I guess it's telling me, the tutorial's telling me to put up the line breaker. So. Yeah. You need two more mana for the guardian. Oh, I need five. You're right. Three plus two. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there's no real sense in attacking here because you're it not going to be able to get to the crab. Yeah. So what do I do? I just wait? It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to eat the damage from the gull. No, the gull is going to hit me. I'm just going to eat the damage from the fucking... Uh, from the, the gull regardless. Like, there's no way to block him. Mm -hmm. And there's no way to attack the flying creature. And attacking the uh, short... The short comer crab is nothing. I won't die, but I won't also put a dent in it enough, right? Yeah, you're just going to basically run into the crab for fun. Okay. It's up to you. Fuck it, dude. <laughs> you fuck that crab. Sometimes the best way around is through. What? What does that even mean, bro? Battles ebb and what? flow. Is this guy beating my ass or teaching me a lesson? Like, I'm confused. You know what I'm saying? He's, like, beating my ass while teaching me a lesson. Yeah, that card's really Whoa, hard. what did he do? Running out of cards. What did he just not. do? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, yeah. Water knot, enchant creature. When water knot enters the battlefield, tap it. Wait, come on, bro. Okay, throwing really up nice. another plane. Now I can throw up the spiritual guardian, but I'm not. Obviously, I'm supposed to put the enchantment aura. What? You need one more mana for the oh, guardian. Oh fuck, you're right. Beef okay. up your cat. Another another round. So I wouldn't. I shouldn't put the. Uh, I shouldn't put it on the line breaker, right? Because it's already. He can't. He can't attack as is. Is he permanently not able because of the water knot? Yeah, unless you have a spell that breaks that enchantment. Okay, I need I, I need more cards, tutorial. dude. I'm gonna buy all the decks now. That's how they get you. Now you'll kill the crab. <clears> okay, I literally have an OPS blocks. cat now. Like this cat is ridiculous. <laughs> like I originally thought this cat was not. I mean, this cat means business, dude. It's done. It's a rip. I mean, GG's for this guy. Yeah, fuck your crab, bitch. Oh, wait, it doesn't... If you keep to the shallows... Oh. If you had trample, there's cards with trample that just keep going and then attack. Wow. Oh, uh, okay. Sounds attack the, the player. I mean, it doesn't matter. This time around, it's the wrap. Okay, so, in, uh, so the blue deck is, like, mostly, like, enchantments and defense and stuff, huh? Is that what it is? Blue is, like, um, counter spells, a lot. It's, like, aquatic-themed. Um, a, a lot of spells, a lot of enchantments. Yeah, I see that because his like um, best character mills. so far that he pulled is a fucking gull, and it's like a one-one. 
It's super. Yeah, when you get into like playing online with people, their blue decks are pain. Like basically, if I start a game and someone plays like a rogue or a ruin crab, I just quit. <laughs> I don't play. It's well, a time. It's, it's a BM, dude. Life. It's bad manners. Boom! Finally, time for me to cast my spiritual guardian. Ha ha! And I got more health. And now it's time for my sanctuary cat to attack. Oh, he has another fucking crab. Okay, bro. How many fucking crabs does this guy have? Oh! What? Okay, dude. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was like that, dude. I didn't realize he was just like... It just feels like cheating. You know what I'm saying? There like, you go. There's your... There's your flying card. Okay, it's over. It's just over. Now that my fucking... It's just so over, dude. Now that my sanctuary cat can fly. Yeah, good luck, brother. Oh, I would you're... Just, I would just swing with the cat. Because he'll kill the spiritual guardian. And you might need it to just sack the... Sack the next round. Wait, I, I could... Oh, it's he's got fucking... Yeah, so you could block him with your guardian, and then if he swings again with the gall, you have, you have like lethal. Oh wait, sh so I shouldn't attack with the guardian. I should just go with the cat directly to him, right? Yep. Because I need that. That's like wide open shot. Yeah. Okay, so that's two damage, and then the other one is gonna get blocked by the spiritual guardian, uh, which is. Perfect. Yep. Is it okay? Yeah, I got it. And then he's just gonna hit me with a two damage. Just whatever, right? Like there's nothing I can do there, right? That's it. Yeah, you don't have to block, but I would just do it just to be, just to be safe. Wait, I don't have to block. What do you mean? I mean, you can take that damage, but just in case he has something that buffs his creature, I would just preemptively block the four six. Yeah. Because he has a four, unless he throws out. He can't throw a buff now, though, right? He could if he had instant, an instant speed one, but. Oh my god. Nothing, okay, like, there's I'm, so many cards, do dude. That. What the hell? How many cards are there in total? Uh, a lot. Okay, this is actually <laughs> a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be because I usually um, am terrible with card games. But also, having said that, I feel like there's too many cards, all Chat's right? saying over 20,000 cards. Over 20,000 cards? Are you kidding me? Okay, all right. Well, I'm blocking, and that's it. Okay, Wait, did he kill me? The is a river. The teacher is Wait, I shouldn't have blocked? The master there you is also... He killed the guardian, but your, your cat what? is still there. I should have just ate it shit. then, dude. You did. Oh, no! He can't block. You're good. You just, you, if you want a buff to win more, you can do that. But you have, you're gonna win. Oh my god! I'm buffing the shit out of this cat, dude. It's such. It's so. It's GGS. I mean, there's nothing it can do to me. I, it's over. Minus six. That's an embarrassing defeat. <laughs> right? Isn't that? Isn't that like add insult to injury? Uh, okay, yeah. so what yeah. I learned from People this tutorial, what I learned from this tutorial is that sometimes even when you're losing, you're actually winning, and it's entirely dependent on how strong your deck is. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, like it's it's okay to get down a little bit at first and score. target blocking or block you creature you control long, gets long term play. Okay, tactical advantage is a one off, right? But it's an instant. It's an instant, yep. Okay, confront the assault. This cast cast spell only if a creature is attacking you. Creates three one to one white spirit creature tokens while flying. Oh, if it's not flying, then you can't even do it. Okay. okay. You're good. almost ready to take on anyone, including whoever roughed you up in the first place. 
for your last oh with lesson, flying not while flying here. okay to learn the art of surprise. Sorry, everyone's making fun of me because they don't know how they they are making fun of me because I don't know how to read. Your health is a resource. Losing some health from your strategic play. Yeah. Watch her every move and be ready for anything. This opponent has spells that can be cast on your turn. Oh, come on, dude. Really? Oh, what pretty little thing has wandered into my web? Ridiculous, Jordan. Uh, oh yeah, it's black. Um, these, these decks are really fun once you understand the mechanic. Um, but playing against them, especially early on, can be really interesting. Go on, attack me. No. I feel like she's uh, baiting me, dude. No, I need to fucking throw out a land card, you know? Yeah. And yep. then a shrine keeper. Okay, I, I, I'm I'm beginning to figure this stuff out, you know? I, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. She's going to fuck me up, dude. Uh, okay, here you go. This is my favorite part. Here we go. Here we go. What is she going to do now? Oh, oh, okay, dude. Oh, I did. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Thank you. Thank you for your instant spell, ma'am. What's she doing? Oh, she's killing the cat. Let yeah, she killed my fucking cat! Animal cruelty. Bullshit. Your move. Okay, I'm just trying to toss out as many planes cards as I can. You know what I mean? Right? That's what you're starting to do, right? You're supposed to put out as many land cards as possible every turn so yeah. that you can every turn you can so that you can uh, end up uh creating uh, putting out like stronger characters that require more mana right right okay this tutorial is just to show me how powerful the black deck is so it's just, i'm sure she's gonna own me again oh yeah characters with flash can be played at any time what or creatures with flash yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> but she doesn't even have a creature ahead like she hasn't pulled anything out so what am i wa i'm waiting on her right <laughs> through that and then she blocks you with that what what did she just do <laughs> she used flash on like that that creature has a flash ability um, so it could be played on yours. Oh, dude, come on, come on. Let me get this. She's gonna do some fucked up shit again. Okay, but it doesn't matter because this time I am en enchanted! Alters reap additional cast to cast itself, sacrifice a creature, draw two cards. What? She'll kill her own. So she person. burned her own card to draw two cards Don't now. Yeah, but that ends your attack. Yeah. It's the block sacrifice that someone pointed out in, in chat. It's very annoying. What if, okay, the black deck is the worst, dude. It, it's so it's so shitty. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> dude, what is she doing? Soul Hunter Rakasha can't block when Soul Hunter Rakasha enters the battlefield. If you cast it from your hand, it deals one damage to target opponent for each swamp you control. So five damage. I just eat five damage. You pulled another swamp, then I would get like six damage every time. It's over after this. Oh, I have an yeah, instant only tactical when... advantage though. Yeah, I would hold the plane. I guess Careful. it wants you to. You can't now hold to the plane back. Like uh, that. Now, now, before you attack, play the tactical advantage. It's not letting me. Oh, wait. It wants you to... At okay. Yeah, it wants you to... Not it's That's what it's doing, because it can't block you. But then it, it'll so kill attack. me. No, because you can use the tactical advantage and make your character a 6-6. Six, six. It doesn't know you have that, to, if this is a real game. And then you play it on that, and it runs into you and dies. Oh, so I say no attacks, right? Yeah, you're, you're basically setting a trap for this. I say no attacks, and before the opponent pulls out, aha! Wait. Then it's time for some trickery of your own. Wait, what? Why can't Wait I? Wait till it starts to attack. Come on! Now. 
Yeah. So block? Set up the block. When can I pull and the after you after you click the Cost block? Come on! A... Bam! Now I it. slammed it. Yeah. Oh, it's over, dude. It's over for you, you sucker. Oh yeah, what's Ooh, up? Very clever. Okay, I didn't know exactly where to fucking pull the pull the tactical advantage card out, but now I know, okay? <laughs> so now all attack. Can I pull out the tactical advantage again while I'm attacking? I'd, I'd wait. I'd wait. Just to see. What the fuck? Wait, what are, You've fallen right into what well, is yeah, she doing, do it. Do it. dude? Oh, okay. Got it. Wait, why can't I pull it? Bam, baby. Let's go. Okay, I understand the need for why you wait. I can respect that. Mm, I've got nothing, really. I'm at your mercy. Okay, she's lying. She's baiting. She's baiting me. Okay, so I have to confront the attack. Cast a spell only if a creature is attacking you. Creates three one one wall. White spirit creatures tokens while with flying. Yeah. So what, wait for that. Okay, so I just uh, go into combat then. Oh, so the flash was only one instant. Oh Looks wait. Like you've let your guard down. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. You don't know that. Now it's my turn. Hurry! Make some blockers. Boom. So I just wait. Do I say no blocks? I'm confused. Block with all of them. One yeah. Why? Why can't I? It'll kill all three. Oh, there it is. So they're just gonna eat the damage, but they're hitting one. Oh, because it kills them. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's over. Okay. Ugh, why won't you die? Now you've got her. Okay, this is, this angelic reward is crazy. It's like you know you you, you look like a simple. It makes you seem like I'm a simple. Touch. I only have one simple shrine keeper card, but instead it's very powerful. It's like his first time playing a video game. Wait, okay, guys. I mean, it's literally my first time playing this video game. He's cracked. He's absolutely cracked. Yeah, I'm, I'm goaded on the sticks, boys. It's almost like this is supposed to be, you know, the way it is currently. So you learn. Yeah, I have a 100% win streak, boys. So I can't wait to <laughs> just own Jordan in the marketplace, marketplace of ideas right now. Okay. Whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life and draw a card. What? Okay, the inspiring commander is OP. And then creature angel is a uh, flying vigilance four, four. Oh God, these are sick. Why does it only teach you how to play with the white deck though? I wish there was a tutorial for the green deck in a similar one. Thinking. There is. There's one for every color. Oh. It just starts you with white. Of your life. And Once you finish this, then you get to pick what color you want to do next. Oh. Who are you fighting in the first place anyway? Okay, well, we don't have a lot of time here. Jordan, what are we going to do? Should I should I just skip after white? Should I just go directly into fighting you with red? Freestyle? Uh, it might prompt you to do the color challenges before you do head to head. To um, oh. If that's the case, you should do red next. You would have the okay. most fun with that. After I it's annihilated you, I really didn't expect to see you again. Wait, what? He fucked me up? What? This is the guy... This is a terrible idea. There's no, it's no not. way you're prepared for this guy. I love the way that they hold your hand through the tutorial. It's great. It's actually a good ass tutorial. The yeah, the YouTube really video good. was very confusing. Yeah, that's for like paper. This I'll make a deal. This is really really helpful. I, would, I probably wouldn't have learned as, as well on paper. I'll let you go. Lose and you will serve me for eternity. 
fight as if your life depended on it. Okay. Uh, I mean, what kind of cards does he have? What kind of deck does he have? Sometimes you need to make a Looks, I mean, at least a red, red and a black. black right what the hell, dude? I mean, as we go, man enters the battlefield. Each player discards a card. Okay, so I just have to figure out which card to discard here, right? I'd probably discard a, a land. Yeah. Really? But I'm going to need all my land. I mean, I can't do any of the other you ones. Could draw. You could draw more. Each player discards a card, so he's got to discard one too. Damn, that sucks. Did he just throw away a dragon? You look surprised. I do as I choose with what is mine. Oh, he's flexing. And it is all mine. Oh, he's flexing, dude. He's like, oh yeah, I don't even give a shit, dude. Hey, check my dragon in my graveyard, bitch. I'm gonna. That's. He's just flexing, bro. It's fucked up. Okay, let's put my little baby shrine keeper out to die here. What? What is this deck, dude? Everything here exists or perishes at my whim. What? What the hell? Oh, he's running Grixis. I don't even have enough planes cards to draw any of these other dudes. You could play the line breaker. Is the only thing that okay, he's dead. At least his mummy is dead. Else. You can draw three. You draw three cards and you lose three life. Wait, what? Oh, he it took that. Oh, okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. Holy crap, dude. Wait, I don't know what he drew though, right? I we don't know what he drew just now. Right. Well, that's devastating because that's gonna be a. Uh... I mean, at least I can like finally attack him once, but not swing really. And then remember, you have the tactical advantage too, so play that when he sets up the block. Stand in the way I should have used that later. No, I would have. Was it dead. good to use it there? That's fine there. Yeah. It gets him out of the way. I can't believe he's like basic bitch miasma pudding or whatever the fuck is like. Miasmic mummy is like still incredibly OP that he like made me pull a card out. It's like a 2-2, two -two, but it also makes you pull a card. What the fuck? Whereas like my, my basic bitch card is just like a regular... It, dude who just does two and wait why are you guys saying didn't notice what what did i not notice <laughs> the dragon's back wait what from the graveyard he played a card that enabled him to play a creature from the graveyard oh he dude the what the hell okay dude this is bullshit <laughs> Oh, I'm so fucked. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's, it's a rip. Yeah, yeah, I got health, but my line breaker is still going to get fucked now. Unless I don't block, right? Uh, You can't block that because he's out flying. Oh, so I'm just going directly to him again. So there's nothing here. And he's tapped. Yep. Enough of this. Please don't add additional damage to the volcanic dragon. Double cast. When you cast your next instance of sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. What? <laughs> okay, this deck is insane, dude. I mean, this is a try hard ass deck. And then he's doing it on, on seismic. What is seismic? I can't even read it. You should be able to right click. Seismic rupture. Seismic rupture does two damage to each creature without flying. Oh no. He killed all of my fucking cars, dude. What the fuck? What the fuck is this, dude? Okay. Whenever another creature with power to or less enters the battlefield under your control. I don't have any creatures left. Well, I mean, I, I mean, I do probably. I just, oh my God. Oh my God. He's owning me so hard. 
Target player draws seven cards? Dude, what the fuck is this, dude? My triumph is at hand. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, that's nuts, dude. And then I get to draw another card. Just might be able to pull this off. Okay, take vengeance is pretty OP. No matter. Soon there will be nothing left of you either. Okay, his damage is so bad, dude. What the hell? The <laughs> one. What the hell is this card, dude? <laughs> oh, I didn't realize it was like that. He's just like, oh, well, here, I have a... Why does he just have a card that lets him win the game? Like, oh, here, I pulled the game-winning card. <laughs> what, what the hell is this, dude? Okay. Cast this spell only if a creature is attacking you. Create three one-to-one. -one. I, I don't have anything else that I can... I would. You can't Hold really back. attack. Yeah. So you can prepare um, for his attack. So just wait. When he attacks, play that. Oh my god. So this one's got haste. So it's going to be a. It's going to be able to attack immediately. So you'll need to block with two of these. What? Don't act so confused, tough guy. Wait, all the oh, I didn't realize you could literally pull so now I can literally pull like an entire deck out of my ass, right? Oh, I can't yet. You can't play the you can't play the cat yet, but on your next turn. But when I play the cat, I'm gonna get another card, card and then I can play another card and I can play another card. Okay, good. Okay, that's kind of cool. So now it's attacking me. I'm gonna block with this, right? I'm going to mm -hmm. eat two spirits here. I'm just going to throw them. Yep. And then not these other two, right? Right. Save that last one. Yeah. You fool. Pass the damage. Okay. Wait, should I do tactical advantage? No, it'll just waste it because you wouldn't be able to kill anything with it. It only get you to a three, three at best. Wait. Hold on. Save it. Can I pull back? What? Why would I? Why wouldn't I just inspire? Uh, use the inspiring commander and use a tactical advantage. Oh, six, because it would kill me, right? If Chaos Maw hit my inspiring commander, it would kill it. Yeah, I would just wait. Just save that spirit for next, next one. Well, oh, okay. He could have double blocked and tactical advantage on the dragon. Two spirits plus tactical. I'm pretty sure I need to hit the tactical advantage here, Jordan. Um, oh, it's too late. I can't go back on this. Yeah, you can't really. You can't rearrange. I, Wait, would, I would seriously just save it because then you could just block the six, take the four next round and whatever you get. Let's draw. Okay. So now you have two. So now you could wipe out something with it. Let's see what you get. Such impudence. Okay, I can... Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, it's GG's. Oh, so play that on the... Uh, An angel. On the defense with the uh, enhancements, right? Play so block My the six is beyond that of a with god. the one next round. I would swing. I guess you could swing with the save the spirit back. Save the spirit. I mean, I can't. What do you mean, save the spirit? So I don't attack. Don't attack with it. Yeah, because yeah, it would get owned. Just attack with the inspiring commander. Yeah, but it's no, only no, no, no. it's They're only tapped right now. 
But doesn't that open me up for a block? Uh... No, not right now. So now you can play the tactical advantage on Sarah Angel. To what? Buff that and then block no! No, he killed my commander. What is he doing? <laughs> what the fuck? You fucking asshole. Okay. Okay, so now I am going to what? I'm going to block with block. Sa I'm going to block Sarah Angel uh, to Chaos Ma, right? No, no, no. no. And block then I'm going to do a tactical camp, advantage. Right? No, dude. Is but it you'll still die. Wait, you'll no. live if you block if you block the volcanic dragon. With the oh, Sarah Angel oh, oh, with it, Chaos Ma, live. I just eat it. Chaos Ma yep. is just going to kill my spear because he's going to kill everything on the de fine. deck no matter what, right? But then next next round, if you play tactical advantage again, then you kill the Chaos Ma. Because you'll be an 8-8 eight, eight then. Wait, which one? Is this Chaos Ma? Is Chaos Ma flying? No, right? No. Oh, Volcanic Dragon is flying. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, that never mind. It doesn't yeah, say. I fucked it up. Um, How do I go back? No, it's fine. Take take the hit on that. Kill Sarah Angel. Is this guy really a pro? No, guys, Jordan is not a pro. Ah, people are shitting on you now. <laughs> In my head. Um. Okay, wait. I fucked it up. I should have used the volcanic. <sighs> Fuck. No, 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 you're good. You're good. Block the Sarah Angel, block the Volcanic Dragon with Sarah Angel, and then buff it with Tactical Advantage. It'll kill that, and you'll still live. Yeah, okay, and Sanctuary Cat doesn't do nothing, right? Just hangs out. Yeah. Wait, can I buff... The, the Angel. Yeah. Okay, his dragon is dead. Admit defeat. En enchant creature, enchant creature gets three plus three flying. Okay, so now that's gone. That can't do anything right now, right? This turn, I just go fucking straight up, right? Uh, I would swing with the angel because it has vigilance. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't swing with the cat. What is vigilance? Vigilance means that you don't you don't tap after you attack. So it can attack and block. See, if you look at the maw, the maw is tapped. It can't even block right now. Yeah. And then I got to put the wings on the cat, no? You can. Well, I can't anymore because I should have done that earlier, right? Yeah, I would wait. Just wait, to cancel see what attacks. Comes next. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, I can't pull it out. Oh, it's not letting me. No, I should. Wait, why won't? I'll cancel yet. Why can I not fucking pull it out? Here. Because it's enchant. It's a. It's an enchantment. It's not an instant. Oh, instead of doing this. Oh, because I'm in attack phase. Okay, mm -hmm. there's nothing I can do here. Then I have to fucking use my angel to fight. Yeah, but the angel won't tap, so you'll have it to block. Um, next. You skipped the main phase? Wait, I did? Fuck, I click next. Yeah. Teach him phases. We'll, we'll get the phase. I fucked it up. Now the fucking chaos. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, you can oh. play it now. Oh, okay. The well, second, shut up, yeah. chat. <laughs> okay, I. Oh, they wait. want you to play it on the, on the cat. Wait, why would I play it on the cat, though? Because the Chaos Maw would destroy my angel, but if I have this, then... You already you already have a flying, though, so this is just... I know, that, but... I mean, that would make a 7-7, seven, seven, but this is too flying. Oh, Renegade now. Demon can't kill me, because I'm flying with the Sarah Angel. Crab is bullshit right. anyway, it doesn't fucking matter. And Chaos Maw doesn't fly either, so... I guess mm -hmm. uh, putting, putting it on my cat would uh, cover both of them, right? My patience is yep. wearing thin. Let's you can finish it. You can just block the crab, I guess. Oh, you know what? Use. 
block the sanctuary cat on the renegade demon let the other t and then block the crab with the angel let moss swing that's fine no uh, this has five oh that has one okay yeah but then you play tactical advantage so you block with those and then use tactical advantage on the cat uh chaos or uh, for tactical advantage on the cat would mm -hmm. uh, would help demon. me kill the fucking demon and the crab won't die but the crab is not that big of a problem because it's a one damage yeah doesn't matter and then you swing next for two for four four and then you're okay, god damn that fucking chaos maw is, is damn devastating <laughs> There you go. Okay. Spiritual Guardian. Some people in chat are giving you bad advice. People are very upset at you as well as me. Um, they are very, oh, very fine. upset. I have to pee really bad after this. MTG frogs were worse than RP frogs? Yeah, they're just saying they want they want to see you win. So like, look, at right now, look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Political jabroni tries MTG. Okay, bro. I'm sorry. Like that, I'm not as good as uh, you are after 23 years of playing this game. Okay, Jesus Christ. How do you not? How do you not already know how to play after one and a half hours? Yeah, I'm sorry that I'm like uh, you know on the tutorial trying to learn something that you enjoy. Okay. incredible that people are just in here just to be upset okay well i mean right got, click on the card for flavor text please what's the flavor text just the the, <laughs> the italics bottom, the bottom of the card what yeah okay cats prowl well, the sometimes corner. they're funny okay so it's my turn to attack both of these are gonna um it's over i game over i won uh by the way because unless he has like a defense card that yeah hey uh, there you go i fucking killed your stupid boss how about that Dragon better think twice before oh, he tries messing with you again. Okay. All right. So now I unlocked all the decks. The keep the peace. Aerial domination is a blue mage. You control the battlefield through illusion. Always think three steps ahead of your foe. Black mage. Every advantage comes at a cost. Sacrifice whatever it is necessary to control the force of death and darkness. Goblins everywhere. As a red mage, you will re revel in the chaos of battle. Fires your weapon and your inspiration. And large and in charge is the green one. As a green mage, nature... The natural world is at your command. The power of life itself fuels your magic. Okay. New decks unlocked. Okay, we're going to do goblins. Oh shit, I gotta download this. Okay, while this downloads, I gotta pee. You can talk to the chat, Jordan. See how it's oh, like wow. when they yell at you a little bit. <laughs> and make fun of you. Wait, what? This happened oh. last time too. Error updating. Uh oh. Green is easiest. Hey, Cleric, what's up? What deck should he run? What do you what do you want to see him do first? I think green or red would be would be best. Do you want to have a lot of you played? Like a year? Red? Green? Oh, black would be black would be a lot to start. Um What deck do you play? I play right now I'm playing a mono white. I played Grixis Giants for a while at the start of Caldheim. 
Uh, last season I made Mythic with Mono Red because it's like easy, but turns out, <laughs> what's up, Mike? Um, Mono Red. Right. I had a deck. If we have a chance to play head to head, I have a deck with like Doom Scar uh, and Shatter the Sky <laughs> that I want to surprise them with. Um, I can do Esper Control. We got Teamer Ramp. Just hitting him with Doom Scar once, I think, would be really funny. Oh crap! Favorite cards: Robber of the Rich. What's up? Why is it not working? What the hell? It's so weird. I, I mean, I have internet. I don't know why it's not downloading it. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we could do the card reveals, and I also have gems to give away too, if people want to play. That gives them in-store currency, or in-game currency. Do you want to do the card reveals? Uh, sure. Wait, how do you have access to this more than I do? They didn't communicate some of the stuff to me. <laughs> oh, I just asked. I asked them today what they wanted, and they're like, "Oh yeah, here's some other stuff." Oh, I know the card revealed. I I got that from you. Yeah, yeah. You can show them that. This is the first time anyone will have seen it, and then I've got gems to give away to the chat. Okay, I got I've a got card. Like tens of thousands, tens of thousands of gems to give away to the chat. Okay. Like, that's it, it you got a lot for people i was okay so i'm not using the gems myself i know the there's gems for you too i won't use the gems i'll we'll we'll give it to the chat <laughs> for redistributing the gems <laughs> dude this dude is so mad <laughs> the jabroni guy no he goes, they gave Hassan Abi a card reveal? Fucking chodes. Okay, bro. <laughs> like, give me some gems. And then immediately says, give me some gems. Yeah, a three-month subscriber. Guess who's not getting a gem, okay? You, <laughs> all right? You, motherfucker. Not getting any gems whatsoever, okay? <laughs> hey, you guys want some gems, baby? Don't be like that guy. Be nice. Nice, only nice chatters get gems. Exactly. Not a jabroni. Love you, Hassan. Please give gem. <laughs> okay, how are we gonna do that? How are you gonna? How do you plan on distributing the gems uh, to random chatters, though? I've got a um, spreadsheet. I can either like whisper or we can DM. Um, I don't know. What what should the prompt be? If someone like, uh, how should we do that? I want to give like they're in codes of a thousand gems each, which gets you several packs. So if people, maybe cleric can help distribute. Maybe we can do it in Discord. Um, but there's, I'm up for whatever. But I think giving people a thousand each who want them. You need to beat be me cool. personally before you can do a card reveal. You scrub motherfucker. Do card <laughs> reveal while it downloads. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to do a card reveal. Who's ready? Who's ready for this? Are you guys... I, I'm not hearing enough movement right now. Why is this not, like, louder? Here, I'm going to send you... Uh, I got it in, uh, in uh, Twitter DMs. You sent me the card, right? Yep. I sent you a, another one, too. That's oh, multiple card reveals. So the red one is yours and the green one is mine. John tweeted his out already. Um, okay. And then I'll tweet I'll tweet mine out. You could tweet yours out. Instead, I'm going to tweet it out, but I'm going to show it on stream. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, time for the card reveal. Boom! Twin Scroll Shaman! Holy shit. Oh my god. A Creature is a Dwarf Shaman. Double Strike. May your wretched name never grace the annals of history. You ignorant buffoon! They gave you a common? Okay, well... Well, that was... Okay, that was... Uh, Worst card on purpose? 
<laughs> All right, take note of whoever's saying this. Yeah, Get you guys, just wait. Holy fuck, that's a card and it was revealed. Yeah, be like Gnome Chomsky. <laughs> Holy fuck, it's a card. That's definitely a card. There you go. That guy's getting a that gem. That person getting gems. You're yes, getting a absolutely. fucking gem, Gnome Chomsky. <laughs> wait, where are they? I'll, de I'll whisper them a gem code right now. Now everyone is saying, <laughs> whoa, card. See? Too late. That's all you got to do. Nobody actually gets comments to reveal? What does that mean? Yes, they do. Yeah, they absolutely do. Oh, Gnome Shops says, I appreciate it, but I don't play the game. Someone else will make better use of it. All right, who else wants to say nice things? All right, let's see it. Yeah, I'm bribing the chat to say nice things. Okay, I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna reveal yours as well, Jordan. I mean, you've already revealed it, right? No, I haven't. I've been waiting for this. Do you want me to show so, it on stream? Yeah, that's fine. Yep. And then I'll okay, ladies that. and gentlemen, if you want to see Jordan Yule's big reveal, here it Jordan is. Jordan Yule's big reveal. This one is Tangle Trap. An instant. Choose one. Tangle Trap deals five damage to target creature with flying. Destroys the target artifact. It's like that old saying. What goes up feeds the arboretum. Lizette with a bloom, Dean. I like, yeah, I like this card because I could take out that um, Goldspan Dragon. Um, because it's instant speed and Goldspan Dragon from the last set has haste. It's a pain in the ass and it generates treasure tokens. It's very hard to take out, but this would take it out with two drop mana and it's instant speed. I'm very excited. Okay, people are saying, I can't tell if they're like joking or not, but they're saying Pog, <laughs> such a sick card going in every deck I play. It's so sick. <laughs> they're definitely joking. You should have announced the green and given Jordan the dwarf. I mean, I don't know. I mean, whatever. <laughs> Good sideboard card, also tons of damage. Okay, got it. Yeah, five is five for a flying is really convenient. I play Magic the Gathering and I will build a deck based around your card reveal. Okay, Jordan, you want to start uh, handing out some of these uh, gems? Yep, yep. Who, who do we give some to first? I don't know. You pick. You have Who's all nice? the power. I'm giving you all the power. It's not letting me update right now for some reason. Maybe it's because I'm streaming. They had a connection issue yesterday. Well, if it doesn't update, if I if I can't uh, download the rest of it, I'm probably going to uh, call it an end here. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, who actually plays and who would actually use the gems don't just say you want the gems because i think free. people just want the gems i feel like <laughs> what are you gonna do with them it's like it's an alphanumeric code okay it's not working it's not, the... <laughs> hmm. it's not working gg what if what if people so if you tweet out your card what we can do is um if people reply or something i can give them a code that way would that work just drop the codes on screen. I'm not going to do that, dude. What are you crazy? Okay, so <laughs> a, one person no, with like a will, one person yeah. with a fucking bot can just like sw swipe all of them. Yeah, no thanks. We're not doing that. Uh, command a cake, cleric says. Okay, hold on a moment. Right, I'm DMing. I'm whispering a code to command a cake. Okay. You just got some gems. How many do you have? 43,000. Wait, what? <laughs> yes. 40, and they come in, they come in, co each code is 1,000. So we've got a lot to give away. Wait, I'm confused. I've got a whole spreadsheet full of, of codes. 
So you have 43,000 gems. Yep. Holy crap, that's 43. That is 43 codes. That's what you're yep. saying, right? We have 43 codes. Right. All right, you got to... All right, I just tweeted it out uh, uh, to come and get their gems uh, for people. Let's see if uh, yeah, say, that... <laughs> gem me or something. Actually, MTG Andy, please, man. Please, dude, I play. All right, I'll just start. If your DMs are open or you follow, I can DM people who reply to Hassan's tweet. Um, okay, reply code. to this. Reply to this tweet with one reason as to why you need to get the gems. Wait, how much do you get? Uh, how much do you get for uh, like what is the what is the dollar equivalent to a thousand or uh, to a thousand gems? Um, maybe like five or ten bucks. Oh, okay. For a thousand gems and a thousand gems is around. Uh, it looks like people are saying. So Barnacle Baby says, "I will sacrifice my firstborn for gems, please." a good reason okay hit barnacle baby with a whisper is that in the chat or on no on uh regular uh, twitch barnacle baby okay barnacle baby. already clipped and shipped by the official uh mtg account yeah i saw that please jordan i need to draft strict saving and don't have twitter wide people sad all right gone smythe g-o-n smythe all right Please, man, I draft. Gone, Smythe. All right. Whispered you a code. Red October 09 says, Jordan, man, you're so funny on Twitter. So much funnier than Hassan. I'm new to MTG because of this <laughs> smile. Okay. That's what do you think me. about that? Is that good enough for you? That's great. Red October 09. You're my fave streamer playing my fave game. Gems would be awesome. Dire Regulus. D Wait, how, how do you spell that? Dire Regulus. Here, I'll show you one more time. R-E-G-U-L-U-S. And Dire is just Dire. All right, you've got some codes. Okay, I need to give some Onyx gems to Edwin, the gem master. I will vote for Trump in 2024 if I don't get my gems. <laughs> Good luck, dude. What if he doesn't... What if he doesn't run? There you go. I'm literally a super toxic white black aggro player who plays Yu-Gi-Oh more than Magic the Gathering and I literally deserve no gems, but I ask anyways. Okay, well. I will represent Matt Gates pro bono if I don't get gems. <laughs> no threats. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I mean, that's bad. Don't do that. Okay, you, you just should pick him, Jordan, from the chat. There's uh, too many people. Please give I me am. gems. I live in Arkansas. Okay, that uh, that poor guy. He needs he needs, he needs gems, gems real bad. Corey K one eight two. I mean, he lives in Arkansas. Corey, that's, I'm so sorry. That's torment enough, dude. I'm sorry. Here you go. All right, Corey, you got your gems and your whispers. I'm just clicking. I'm clicking random people in the chat that are saying funny things and giving them to them. So if you need to resume your regular programming, I can just do this until we work through the spreadsheet. I can I can bounce. 
You're gonna you're gonna sit here for uh, uh, until you've how many have you gone done so far? Ten. So got thirty. Oh, just ten. Okay. Left. Yeah. All right, I'm going to retweet the Magic the Gathering account so no one could see this coming earlier from stream if you you forgot. <laughs> you weren't here for this part. Where can you be found? Practicing runes, trying not to get distracted by our own reflection in the ink pot. Okay, that. No reason to read the others. <laughs> Based on your answers, you'd be a great fit for Silver Quill College Shop Style Shop of Wit. We are the first to sign up for the debate team, and we've been pro Oh, no. I got into the debate, Lord. Oh, no. You're a debate, bro. I'm doing He's fan art of you in the silver quill oh, God, drip. Terrible. Oh, we've damn. We got fan art, art already. We've been since we arrived. Be prepared to bring wit, finesse, and confidence. Wow. And to be on the best dress list while doing it. <laughs> Over an hour ago, I Ninja Frosty says, Jordan, you're a sex icon, and I aspire to be like you. Oh, that's that's gem material. There you go. What's what's their name? Ninja. Oh, I missed it. I can't find it anymore. GG's. Corey, Corey replied, "Thank you. I am no longer oppressed. Stay strong." I called it. Sure. Oh God! Watch a zombie. Silver quill. Silver quill. Of course. Silver quill. Ninja After Frosty twenty one. Mage... Ninja Frosty twenty one. Oh, got it. I see it. My friend has been playing the physical game for like seven years. I'm trying to is is trying to get me into it, and ha we've been having a lot of fun. <laughs> King Sothar says, "Jordan, you ratioed my company on Twitter." I'm oh, Irish and constantly put up with your top of the hour every hour. It's time for you to pay me back. <laughs> says Sorchara. <laughs> All right, they get some. Siri USA says. Please, Jordan, I just got accepted into Strixhaven for college and I need gems to pay my tuition. <laughs> Why'd people sad? Oh my god. The cost of tuition at Strixhaven is out of control. Yeah, they have legacy uh, admission too. That's the big problem it, with Strixhaven. That's all it is. Yeah. It's, Everyone's it's always talking about affirmative Strixhaven. action, but the real problem is legacy admissions, just letting the rich skirt along and, and get in easily. <laughs> All right, I sent some to Sirius. I really hope that helps with your tuition. Um, you know, we're okay. gonna fight for. This one says playing since 2007. Hit me up, please. Actual MTG Andy. Def want gems. All right, let's give it to Uvenda as well. You got it. Sent. Step, bro. I'm stuck. I need gems to get out, please. A simple thousand gems, sir. Please says. Lamb Bear with two M's. L-A-M-M -M Bear. All right. I need gems to get out. Set. Gem me because I'm a 24-month sub. I deserve something for sitting in your chat for that long. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm from Brazil. I need all the happy I can get. The hedge. I'm from Brazil, please. I need all the happy I can get. It says Le L E underscore Archie Viste. Alright. Sent. We've got 26. Okay, 26 chat's going crazy. Chat's going crazy. Chill out, chat. I see it. <laughs> this stream caused me to play again after a while. I'm an F2P player who's struggling to get up to date cards. What is F2P then? Does this person want gems? I'm confused. Free to play. Oh, oh, they ha they don't, they don't spend money in the game. So they just play the f everything they, they just use everything they can get for free. All right, let's give this person some codes. 
I'm gonna give no, you need to spend money in the in the game. We're not giving you gems. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give this person three. Okay, this Abyss V I says, or Abyss Six says, X MTG MTG Judge, longtime fan, get me some gems. Winky face with a open mouth smile, which is weird uh, as far as emote usage, oh, but. I've I've talked to this person before, Abyss. All right. All right. Then gem them. You've got some gems. We've talked about... It looks like we talked about... <laughs> military recruiting. I am no... Ninja Frosty says that you gave him the gems already. He says, I am no longer down bad, and it's all thanks to the Hasanavi and Jordan fun. <laughs> Fem Dominist says, my deck meta is ancient trash. Help me get back up to date. Okay. Check my message history. I was the, the first person to ask if Jordan was actually a pro. Wait, <laughs> does that mean he deserves gems? It's up to you, Jordan. If you don't want to give this guy who questioned your professional mtg skill it's up to you my friend i leave that up to you they need to be nice to you and me okay in, in order to get gemmed in order to get gemmed right. up what was their name one more oh Dude, i lost it it was like cx something but too late now lake mcgroove says again. give tignacious d some gems pog Tignacious D. T I G N A C I O U S D E E. Oh, I can't. They have they don't accept whispers from strangers. You don't accept whispers from strangers, my friend. Sorry, no gems for you. Can I give it to can I give it to Lake? And could Lake? Yeah, give well, them we the can gems? just give it to you, Lake McGroove, and then you can give it to them. There you go. Boom. All right. I've gemmed you. Like, we got 19 left. I take my candy from stream. Someone says, I'm a paper player. Jake the Snake 110 or one, uh, 110 says, I'm a paper player, but I need my money. Uh, I need money to help moving my addiction online. Pog. And he also said, Jordan is a god and I need help moving my addiction from paper to online in this COVID world. This, this person also has whispers blocked. Okay, well, you guys all have whis your whispers blocked. So unblock your whispers, boys, if you want this, if you want this little gem drop. <laughs> Otherwise, it's GG's. Otherwise, it's GG's for all of you. Okay. How many have you done so far? Uh, hold on. I think I'm on ni 19 left. Done 24. Are you done 24? Someone, someone on Twitter who is watching DM'd and asked if they could have some. Okay, well, the rest of it is there. up to you then. What about Bug Rat? Can we give Bug Rat one? Yeah, does Bug Rat play? No. Well, I mean, they made fan art of the silver silver quill drip so i assume they play bug rat dm jordan yule to see uh if you want a gem yeah let me see if they have yours my favorite war crime is whatever is on hassan's top lip gems please what you don't like my <laughs> mustache I've been playing the Marjorie Taylor green card game, but this looks a lot more fun. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Oh, God.
<laughs> Moonbean says, I've been playing for 10 years and I have big titties. Please give me gems. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, and she's still spamming it. All right, Moonbeam, you can have some gems. B, yeah, yep. All right, sent. Congrats on the gems and everything else in your life. Congratulations on the gems and having big titties. Moonbeam. Can I play Jordan for gems? Okay. All right, I think the rest of it you can... Uh, you could just give away on your own on, at your own uh, pleasure, Jordan. Yeah, I've got like 18 left. I'll just look on Twitter. So okay. reply to Hassan's tweet if you want gems, and I'll I'll distribute them there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and MBs, that concludes our Magic: The Gathering Arena broadcast. Uh, thank you so much, Jordan, for stopping by and educating me on how to do it. Even though the tutorial I was just kind of owning, you know, whatever, not a big deal. Kind of got my hand I held there a little bit, natural. but, but, uh, and, uh, be on the lookout, ladies and gentlemen, and boys, girls, and MBs for Magic the Gathering Strix Haven. Uh, Jordan will be distributing more gems for you. Okay. You can check out your, uh, you know, quiz to see which, uh, school you fit in, in the sorting quiz for the colleges. Yep. And that's it. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. I, I am glad you enjoyed it. I hope other people play. It's a very, very fun game. All right. Jordan, where can they find you? Uh, I'm on Twitter, at Jordan Yule. Uh, and you could watch me on Deep Dive on The Young Turks, Tuesdays and Thursdays. What time? Tuesdays, 2.30. Thursdays, 8.30. Hell yeah. All right, thanks. Thanks for coming on, Jordan. Thanks, man. Bye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our Magic the Gathering uh, portion of the stream. I hope you guys had fun uh, and enjoyed. Uh, some of you probably have never uh, played this or knew what it was like. Some of you have probably played this. A lot of you, have, a surprising amount of you have already played this. Um, your mods were spamming for me and they gave you don't know wall and they you don't know all them every time YouTube connoisseur YouTube connoisseur do you even have do you have uh do you play magic the gathering holy fuck people are so toxic eh, it's not the end of the world some people were a little toxic for sure but you know that is to be expected I think people get very heated and very passionate about their favorite hobby and uh and and uh, you know lose control for a moment and don't think about how uh, this reflects poorly, especially it's someone who's like learning how to play the game. But everyone's a socialist until we want.